week eight of the college football season. Alabama getting ready to take on Tennessee, but I want to rewind to this Arkansas game and talk about these freshman wide receivers that we've seen out on the field as of late. Yeah, you have your Calvin Ridley's, your Roberts, uh, your Cam Sims, and your Robert Foster's of the world. But when you look at the, the body of work that this Alabama team has in terms of their wide receivers, we saw three guys get into the game. Devontae Smith, Henry Ruggs III, Jerry Judy. Take me through this Jerry Judy play as an example. 29-yard catch, obviously wide open on the goal line, setting the tone for this Alabama football game. Yeah, so we've seen Ruggs catch a couple touchdown passes this year. I think this route by Jerry Judy is high-level stuff. Play clock down to seven, six. Harris now lines up to the right of his quarterback. Jalen stands in. Jalen throws near side. He has Judy. He'll make the grab. Coming in a freshman running this. He's from the number three position, the slot, and does a good job of, first off, identifying that it's man coverage and knowing that he's got to get his defender negotiated in a way that he can run an out route. He knows before the ball snap that there's going to be out route run. He does a great job of selling it. We call it a stem release. The defender doesn't know if he's going across the middle. Is he running an out route or is he running right down the field? So he does a good job. And you can see right when he's getting ready to cut, the, the defender's hips flip. And when he does that, Judy knows all he has to do is finish the rest of the route because he does such a good job on the front end. So he's able to get the, get the defender leaning inside, sticks his foot on the ground, runs a great deep out route, man coverage. I mean, can't really ask much more from a freshman receiver. Okay, so take us behind the scenes. Alabama has really been able to develop these young guys. Obviously gives them a lot of depth at this position. Is this part of this Alabama system? How have they been able to prepare these guys to get on the field early and often or in, these, in their career? Yeah, I think it goes back to one of Coach Saban's biggest talking points, and that's development. When, when we get out in big leagues against, against Vanderbilt and Ole Miss, you can get these young guys in. You can get them live game reps where they get out and they're playing uh, you know, a big team at night, homecoming game, a lot on the line. They've been there before. They know their, their job. They've got to go, go out and execute. And, and having the, the intensity that happens during spring ball, that happens during training camp when you're going against the best defense in the country, it just prepares these guys and gets them ready so fast. Okay, so if you're on the defensive side of the football, you're sitting in the meeting rooms watching film on this, just how difficult is it to defend these guys? Not only are you having to go up against Calvin Ridley's of the world, but you've got four, five, six guys out there that you've got to defend against. It's really tough. Also because Damian Harris and Bo Scarborough and Jalen Hurts are rushing the ball so well, you've really got to say, okay, we're going to try to stop the run first and then fill in with a passing game. And we're seeing us, like Jerry Judy right here, take advantage of that, of saying, okay, they're going to put an extra guy in the box, the safety walk down. Judy did a good job of running a good route. And if they're going to sell out and stop the run, our passing game has to continue to improve like it has been and having young guys step up. All right. Great call. JP Dub.